hey Taurus, if my eyes are wandering, I've moved my camera again. So I'm like, where is it? Um, so just listen, <laughs> don't look where my eyes are wandering. So my fellow Tauruses, I am a Taurus stellium and my son is in Gemini, but I have seven placements in Taurus. So I usually link more with Taurus than I do Gemini, but I think people would say I'm more Gemini. So, Taurus, we are in the Cancer New Moon. This new moon goes new on Monday in the UK at 7.31pm. This new moon is about trusting your intuition. This is it, You are going to be thrown into having to become acquainted with your emotions and your intuition. So then you can kind of differ them apart when you need to. Because a lot of the time when we're trying to make an intuitive decision, we we'll, emotion will cloud our judgment emotion will stop us from truly like kind of um trusting our intuition so that's what it's about it's about creating that kind of like harmony and getting acquainted between the emotional and the um interest in the intuitive it's all your intuition it's all your psychic abilities and everything cancer is the ruler of intuition so it brings it sorry Sorry, everyone keeps ringing me every time I try and record. Um, it's about celebrating your own intuitive like kind of gifts and things like that. They will be coming to the surface. Synchronicities will be firing at your left, right and centre. You will be seeing them and you can't not see them. It's like if it's numbers or if it's just like things in life that I wouldn't have got to hear if it weren't for that, for that, for that, for that, for that. And now it all makes sense to me. There's the synchronicities in your life. It's about looking under the surface and going inwards. So it is going to push the emotions that you don't need to the surface. So if you need a day off or you need an hour in front of the TV or curled up in a bowl, crying your eyes out, do it. Go intuitively with what your body wants you to do. This is not a new moon to manifest material. This is a new moon to manifest happiness. You know, whatever that happiness is, what you feel like your happiness would be. So your power is, uh, not sorry, your power, your main energy is Elijah. So Elijah is one of my guards. Elijah, um, he guards my communication, um, my words. So I'm heard. He uses the right words. There's something about being heard um, in your reading. Also, feel the need to feel heard. Uh, you know, and I, I, emotionally, it may have felt like... Um, but yeah, I did that then. You know, like you've been silenced or is a hand, you know, it may have felt like you've been silenced in the past and now it's time for you to be able to um, kind of break your silence because what's crossing that energy, yeah, we've got a karmic cycle that's playing out. Funnily enough, I did a video on YouTube today regarding karma, but I'm not going that way with someone else. I'm kind of feeling like this is yours. So you've constantly been in like people pleaser mode or not being able to say no when you've really wanted to. So you've said, yeah, you, you know, it's that type of energy. And I feel like it's time to break the silence. That's all I keep getting in my head, break the silence. Because you're manifesting, but you don't want to manifest more of that. You want to clear that karmic cycle. It's time to manifest better. Yes. Manifest happiness for yourself. Guard your words. Speak when you need to speak. Why is it coming right now? We've got Call of the Wild. It's time for you to free yourself. You're freeing yourself from something. Um, Taurus, you may be drawn towards nature, towards animals. Uh, dreams could be seriously strange at the moment. Um, or going into the, more of the new moon energy with the dream catch there. But it is my shamanic card as well. I feel like some of my Taurus has been already looking into like holistic practices and ways of healing rather than... Uh, I wanted to say GP then. So there could be health as well. Uh, things to need to, you know, needing to be sorted. Recent past, we have got the sacral chakra and divine protection. So, to me, they could be an, they could be a parent in spirit as well. I know I'm in a new moon reading. I don't usually say stuff like that, but I'm getting parental with the sacral and the divine. Um, also, though, but the, they are like our parents. You know, we've got Mother Earth, we've got Father Earth, you, you know, whatever you want to say it as. It's like the universe is working with you to shift and clear through the sacral because we manifest through the sacral. The sacral chakra around the womb and the sexual organs is the chakra of creativity. I feel like creativity has maybe fallen asleep a little bit. Um, but it's almost like with this new moon energy, like you're getting a boost to be creative, which would make sense. 
my moon is in Taurus, my Venus is in Taurus, and I'm decorating everyone's houses on my own at the minute. I can't stop myself. Um, but to me, that's a way of getting out of my head because it's therapeutic, you know. But you are being guarded, you've been protected in going forward because at present, you've got good people around you. You've got your soul tribe, your soul sisters, your soul family, soul brothers. It's time to switch off and have some fun. I kind of want to say with this Cancer New Moon, intuitively, you already know where you need to switch off. And when I was saying it's not a time to manifest material, it's rather a time to manifest emotional and happiness. I kind of want to say, like, how are you spending your time? Are you, have you got a balance between the personal and the work life? And, uh, you know, that's happening. Maybe that is what you need to be looking at um, with this new moon energy. Because going forward, yeah, there's a leap of faith. So there's new doors opening. So once you've done the work with this new moon, then bang, you've got new doors opening. But it's going to take a leap of faith. Trusting your intuition is taking the leap of faith, believe me. You know, I'm still alive though. <laughs> you know, if that's any consolation. Your power is to rise from the ashes of heartbreak and recognise the power within yourself. It's to not be afraid to shine. It's to not be afraid to be heard and not be afraid to speak your truth. It's to stand out where you need to stand out. There's something from the past that blocks you from doing that. And again, I feel like someone silenced you. I keep getting the silence energy all the time. I can't shift it. Outside influence. Yeah, a need for balance. There's a need to let go of certain things or certain ways of doing things that you've been holding on to, you know, with a tight grip. You need this. This Cancer New Moon is saying, chill out. Chill out, Taurus. It's time for you to chill out. In your hopes and fears, you're yeah, letting go. So there's a, it, there's a want to let go, but then it's also scary as well because that's what you've always known and that's what your emotions have always run off. But it's time to kind of switch that off and go towards your intuition. And it is scary letting go because you're going through a transformation. You're changing. Your outcome is your desires. See, the challenge was getting, under the, getting out of this karmic cycle and manifesting better. Your outcome is manifesting better. The hand of the divine is saying, now, now you've done the work over this last couple of weeks with the new moon, what is it you desire? What is it you desire to make your happiness? How will it feel? How will it smell? Manifest it in that sense. But it's beautiful. I love it. Bye. Hey, my beautiful Virgo. So I'm here to do the new moon in Cancer reading for yourselves. Um, this is going to be a bit of a roller coaster one, I'm not going to lie, but in a good sense. Uh, emotionally, it could be a bit up and down. You may be like, oh my God, I need to just switch off. I want to curl in a bowl on the sofa. I want to eat lots of chocolate. I need some dopamine. Uh, you know, it's that type of thing because there's things that are going to be coming up to be cleared for this new moon's work because cancer is the sign that rules intuition. And this new moon in cancer is bringing in an energy where you need to get acquainted acquainted with your emotions and your intuition because a lot of the time when we try and make an intuitive decision emotions can cloud the judgment so if you are in a point where you know how you deal with your emotions and you know what triggers those emotions it's easier to go intuitive this new moon is going new on monday with the 17th in the uk at 7 31 pm and um, it's a new moon that is going to be saying to you look under and in rather than out and over, you're going inwards. Do not be worried. Like, if if you have a down day and you're crying all day and you're watching sad films or whatever, let, let it let it be. Do you know what I mean? It's a bad day, not a bad life. And that, I feel like this, that's what this moon is about, the main energy of it. Um, setting intentions, it's got to be from the heart with this new moon. It's got to be emotional. It's got to be uh, what's going to be bringing you happiness, you know, that type of thing. Do not try and manifest material with a cancer moon, with a, with the new moon in cancer. It's just not going to work. It's a water sign for one. It's the new moon in cancer. It's all intuitive. Do that after you've done the work with this moon. Synchronicities as well. Synchronicities are going to be playing a massive part in the next couple of weeks. You are not going to be able to ignore them. You know, you are not going to be able to say that's a coincidence. It is not. It's going to power kick you. Do you know what I mean? So it could be numbers certain words it could be sitting there and thinking oh my god like looking at all the synchronicities in your life to how you've got to where you are now it's it's a deep one <coughs> and if you want to cry cry it's an emotional thing <coughs> my throat is tickling now i started to do your reading virgo it happened with someone else as well but i can't remember it where now um 
I wanted to say then, don't cut your nose off to spite your own face. That could be for one Virgo, that could be for... I'm reading it as a collective. It could be for 30% of Virgos. I don't even know why I want to say that. Don't cut your nose off to spite your own face. Um, but it was my throat that was tickling. So the main energy with this Cancer New Moon Virgo is we've got the Phoenix. It's time to rise back from the ashes. But before the Phoenix can rise back from the ashes, she does the healing work. She allows herself to go into healing. So with the New Moon in Cancer, going into your healing. Then boom, Phoenix. So I do actually love it because it shows that you're actually working with this Cancer energy, with this New Moon. What's crossing that energy for my Virgos is to get to that point of congratulations where you can give yourself a pat, a pat on the back or the universe can be saying yes you've done it you know the universe is it's your team of cheerleaders so the congratulations card is my trump card you've been giving you energy wings it's now time to use the gifts and strengths that these wings carry to provide guidance and empowerment to yourself and others your experiences are your qualifications sort of new spiritual hearts and spread your angelic energy wherever it's needed that is a oh wait a minute me is ringing like mad that is a crossing energy because you're not there yet. It is not time to go out and empower everybody else because what they're asking you to do, Virgo, now is to empower yourself. It's to show people that you can do it. It's to have that kind of energy that you... Sh it, when we heal, it causes a ripple effect and the people around us or closest to us will go through that healing as well because they can't help it. You, you know, it's the frequency. It's on the vibration that they're surrounding themselves by. Why is it coming around now? So we've got Mother Nature. I'm getting hormones as well. Um, but Virgo, this is perfect for you. Virgos are naturally grounded energies, but if you're out with your Virgo energy, that is it. You're, you're off with hot air balloons, you know, it's that type of energy. So this new moon is bringing about an energy for you to treat yourself like the god, the goddess that you truly are, to get your roots down and to allow yourself to grow. This is your tree of life. You're about to branch out, you know, but... Just focus on learning to trust your intuition at the moment. In the recent past, yeah, we have karma. So there is a cycle that's kind of like wrapping up. It's almost like you've just got this little bit to do now. Um, then you can be able to look back and see, you know what, I know what that happened and maybe I need to take stock of what I, I said or did in that. This is an emotional thing. So you could be dealing with guilt, uh, pride, fear, you know, that type of thing. But it's again, it's about empowerment, you know. I feel like you need to be dissolving the guilt, yeah, because at present you've got letting go. Certain things have happened in the past. You can't go back and change it. There is no point in having regrets in life. If you can't change it now, if there's no way of changing it, there's no point in having a regret, you know. It is about letting go of the past. I feel like, because she's sat on the swing as well, I feel like it's about taking time out. Going forward, we've got the throat chakra opening. So you will be saying something or someone will be saying something to you. It's the throat chakra's opening, you're speaking your truth, but you, when the throat chakra opens, you're also able to listen to the truth as well. There may be some information coming to you as well in order for you to... It's like the universe is helping you let go of the situation because you've been waiting on this information or someone to speak to you or, you know, to say something. Your power is that you have got more choices in direction now. So at the moment with the Cancer New Moon, you may be feeling like you've kind of just hit um, on that path. It's like, where do I go from here? I'm waiting for something. No, it's just that you're working with this energy and then boom, then you can go into the manifestations. It's going to open in the next couple of weeks. There's more options than you think right now, Virgo. The outside influence to that is freedom. Yeah, you've got to work on the freeing yourself from your past, letting go of them karmic cycles, freeing yourself from guilt, freeing yourself from... Uh, pain and fear and resentment and anger, that type of thing. So it is powerful, yours, Virgo. I'd say yours is yours and Leo's, I feel, are more powerful. Not more powerful, if you get what I mean, but deep, deep. Uh, in Spirit's Hopes and Fears to you, we've got Call of the Wild. Again, I feel like it's returning back to Earth, returning back to nature, uh, returning back to grounding practices, taking time out, and it's protecting. Uh, you are being protected, you've got the dream catch there, maybe some funky dreams, write them down, maybe your intuition is going to be trying to get through to your dreams, um, if it can't get through to you in your daily life because there's so much stuff going on that you need to let go of at the moment. You need to make friends with that intuition, Virgo. Your outcome is Lilith. Yay. 
Lilith, the, the, the protector, the protector of the abuse, the protector of, she, she shows you that it's not, it's not wrong to be independent and to think independently and to trust your intuition. If someone's saying to a lot of people, and I've said this in another reading, um, say there's 50 people and they're all in agreement, yeah, we've got to go this way, we've got to go this way, we've got to go this way, but your intuition is just like, no, I'm not supposed to go that way, I should go that way. Lilith is that energy. Lilith is not scared of walking the path alone. She, is not, she will not go with the crowd. She ain't like that. Your power is that you are coming out of this energy and you're going through a transformation where you're going to be able to trust that. You're going to be able to trust that intuition and walk your path rather than follow someone else's path. Virgo, that's that's probably my favourite reading. So I absolutely love that. Bye. Hey, my Capricorn, sorry. I'm wiggling. Trying to get comfy. Right, so we are doing the Cancer New Moon readings. Sorry if I keep looking that way because I've changed my camera around again. I mean, I just won't go with it. Um, right, so Cancer New Moon goes new on Monday the 17th in the UK time, uh, 7.31 p.m. Um, the Cancer New Moon is definitely kind of throwing you into um, an energy of needing to get acquainted with your emotional and your intuitive. Because a lot of the time, we allow the emotional to overrun the intuitive. Um, it's a time to kind of, I kind of want to say, honor your own psychic abilities, your own intuitive abilities. Um, as a spirit in a human form, meat suit. Um, I know people don't like it when I say that, but I can't help it, to me this is, my meat suit i'm like kind of running it like a pups here um but it's time we're all born with them intuitive gifts and with the cancer new moon it's almost like the frequency is being turned up but in that frequency being turned up the emotions are being turned up as well um so it could be a bit of a roller coaster with the new moon in cancer but it's a good thing because it's a purge it's a release um, it's being put in situations and things like that where you will have to make an intuitive decision and make sure that you're not doing it from an emotional stance because of past and things like that. Um, synchronicities are going to be hitting you like wildfire uh, with the Cancer New Moon. They are going to be there. You can you will not be able to ignore them if it's numbers, if it's like just epiphany moments like, oh my God, everything that's happened in my life has led me to this. Like if I didn't meet that person, if that person hadn't done that, if that offer I didn't fall in fruit, I wouldn't be where I am now. So you're seeing these major um, like synchronicities that have been going on. It's time to kind of honour that as well. Um, it's The Cancer New Moon, it's about going inwards and under. So we're going under the surface of things. We're going into the surface of things being yourself. Um, and that's how we're dealing with it. So let's have a look. I'm using my empowerment deck as I always do when I'm doing my moon readings because I'll link with my own cards better so capricorn we're starting with the queen what is it that you feel like you're missing the queen to me is usually powerful she's got everything she wants yeah she's got everything she wants but she looks bored she looks like she's missing something you know it's like have you given up a fire have you um it's something that you really wanted to do and you're not doing it emotionally are you missing somebody you're feeling lack of in some kind of way in your life i feel like the queen is missing out on something What's crossing that energy? The challenges of dark night of the soul. So Capricorns, yeah, I am picking up this like kind of like emotional negativity with the dark night of the soul. But I also want to say, don't worry if you have them days. Get on the sofa, cuddle your fleecy blanket, eat a lot of chocolate, watch movies that are going to make you cry, emotional or whatever. You know, do what your body is telling you to do and they, they listen to your intuition. If your intuition is saying, I need to switch off for an hour, switch off if I need to switch off 24 hours it's a bad day not a bad laugh and I feel Capricorn that that is what you're kind of going through so make some meltdowns come in with tears and things like that allow it to happen because that is the purge that you need especially with this new moon in cancer why is it coming right now without connection this could be revolving around connections with other people or it is about connection with yourself to me it's the connection with yourself and when I drew this card, when I was saying about the puppeteer thing a minute ago, when I drew this card, this was me meditating, like kind of getting that connection with my higher self. Um, or my guards, Lilith, you, you know, that type of thing. And 
and I keep saying this, you know, this meat suit is only five foot one, but my energy is a lot bigger than that. And that's why it's coming around because they want you to recognize the size of your energy, the, the power of your frequency when you're in that right place. Let's have a look, see. Yeah, in the recent past, we've got the secret keeper. They could have been underhand behaviour or, um, you know, secrets, that type of thing. But the secret keeper is my bullshit radar. I drew this card because it was almost like I was sat there with an invisibility cloak and I could see everything and everyone for what it really was. You, you know, I knew which was the snaky energy and I knew which was the serpent um, in regards to that transformational energy as well. So there could have been things that you're keeping to yourself or there could be things that are like kind of coming to the light. The new moon will bring out in that darkness, it will bring it out. Because at present we've got fertility. So fertility is the empress energy. It's about sowing the seeds. You're sowing the seeds now in order to be able to go forward and reap what you've sown. Your energy is fertile at the moment. With this negative energy with the dark night of the soul and the queen feeling bored and things like that, again, I feel like you need to be sat there and even journal it, write down, what do you need in life? What do you want in life that is going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled? Not financial. Do not manifest on a Cancer New Moon um, financial material. It is not the right time to do it. Stay well away from that. This is not a material moon. This is an emotional, um, freeing, happy, intuitive moon that we have to go through the roller coaster of the emotions that match that you know it's about raising your vibration and frequency deal with the material after that but for the next two weeks it's about focusing inwards and under so you also in the seeds in order to reap what you saw capricorn there's a need to be around your soul tribe more your soul sisters your soul brothers and um, i feel also as well when i was saying about the people that's happening there could be trust issues going forward you will be being taken to your soul tribe 100% there's new people coming in so maybe you will be going through a grieving grieving process of letting past acquaintances or people you once thought were friends has got you know letting them go because your power is karma weirdly enough I did a video this morning on YouTube about karma it's only about three and a half minutes long uh, but I had to get it out there if you are sat there waiting for someone else's karma please do not because you will manifest it yourself just focus on your own Focus on your dharma, you know. Your power is to end this cycle. It's to end the cycle of darkness. It's to end the cycle of keep going back into this energy. It's time to pick that lantern up and go and find that doorway out of that, that room you've built around yourself. The outside influence to this is, yeah, you're manifesting. It's almost like what they're doing right now with you, Capricorn, is a clearing so then you can go forward and manifest. Because... You, Right now, it's about manifesting from the emotional, but I feel like the next two weeks is about clearing and then boom, we're in it. Because on top of that, you've got the phoenix. The phoenix rises back from the ashes. The next week or so could feel like you're on burnout, and it's not. It's, it's like you're being upgraded. That's, that's what I'm getting, because your outcome is divine protection. Your spirit guides, your angels, God, divine, whatever it is, whoever it is that you think of is around you, your loved ones. Uh, the energy around it is saying you are protected and we're going to be beside you whilst you do this work. So I absolutely love that, Capricorns. See you next time.